Oh, another beautiful Pacific Northwest day to go collect more treasures. The trailer is hooked up and ready. The trailer is like always hooked up and ready. This is a special one. We're gonna need some stuff. We'll need that, and we'll need that, and uh, that. Don't worry about that. Acapulco shirts, tape recorder for special music. We'll need the sledgehammer. Get the heck out of Aberdeen for at least five hours. I'm gonna get you a friend. God, this shop is a mess. Remind me to like do something about that. Seriously, what happened here? Oh, I feel like I need to take a second to thank Mitchell for helping me out on this uh, acquisition today. I don't know what I'm forgetting, but oh man, I know it's important. Seriously, what happened here? This is terrible. Yeah, it might be that kind of operation. Only half an hour late, that's pretty good for me. Ooh, XJs. Release the quacken. Ah, but is it enough chickens? Oh, it's a beautiful day. Just look at all the rainbows. On the road again. Rainforest. Blech. Oh, Jesus. Ocean. It looks angry. Mmm, lunch. Very scenic pea spot. There's an ocean over there somewhere. expired a month before I was born. Wow. <laughs> Toothpaste Oreos? Wee! Well, here we go. We're on more adventure. Basically, I don't see what could possibly go wrong. Yeah, you better go straight there. Come on. Really? What do you know about buying a crappy charger for a stack of cash in the middle of nowhere in a equipment yard? Good times. It's got Lakewood slapper bars. She's a little punky. Worse than I thought, but that's fine. More on that later. We ended up going trailer to trailer and loading it backwards, which normally would be super sketchy, but there's no engine in it. I am gonna inch it up just that little bit more and then strap it down for the long ride home on a really sketchy back road. Yay. What, it leaks? How's that even possible? Because it's on there backwards, I've got a view right down the best line on the car, and it's awesome. <laughs> Lunch. Mm, charger. Oh good, it's still here. All right, even the good side isn't all that good, but you know, it's okay. I find it really entertaining that it's been both of my favorite colors for cars. Dark, dark red and blue. I really like this. Hey, it's got a good grill. That's cool. Stand like maybe here and squint and it looks pretty good. Oh, charger things. All right, time to go stop traffic. I have so many questions. Mrs. Jamie found a 68 Fury sedan. Also a hearse. Yay, the stakes are much higher now. This is terrifying. Hmm. Whee! And it said 30 miles an hour a minute. Oh yeah. Whoa. Still angry. We're right back where we were. Things are different though. For one thing, it's windier. For another thing, you know, charger. It wants to be blue. Oh yeah. Please.
did it. <clears throat> Hi, I'm Jamie. This is Dead Dodge Garage. And this, you know what this is. That's right, a really, really crappy General Lee. If you've watched the channel for any amount of time, you probably already know that I really like 68 to 70 Dodge Chargers. Like, I really like them. If I won the lottery or something, I might not tell you, but there would be signs. Namely, like, 30 of these things in my driveway. It doesn't get much cooler than this, does it? Now, I've always had a thing for the 68 Charger myself, but the 69 here tends to be the most popular. The favorite, the darling. Everyone loves these things, partially because of these awesome taillights, and partially because of the General Lee. Huh, these taillights are actually in really good shape, aside from all the rust staining. I've gone on record as saying that this generation of Charger is the most beautiful car design ever. Bar none. Except no substitutes. And I stand by that. These things are awesome. This shape here, of course, one of the best parts about it. Don't mind all the rest. It's, yeah, pretty bad. I might be due for another tetanus shot. I should check on that. Of course, I already have a charger. What could possibly be better than that? Two. Or ten, or, you know, whatever. We'll get there. My 383 car here, of course. Numbers matching. Survivor-ish, although it's been painted. Just a sweetheart of a car. I'll never modify it or do anything really crazy with it. Although I did drift it in a field once while eating a corn dog. This thing over here, on the other hand, kind of a piece of garbage. Looks like the perfect blank slate to me. I don't have to choose, I've got both. This is awesome. Now the red car is a little nicer than this one inside. I'm not gonna worry about that for now. Ooh, it's got one original black door panel, that's cool. This door doesn't even open. Well, actually, I think technically it doesn't close and it's held in place with a ratchet strap. It's dented and that's smashed, which is fine because it's also rusted, like really badly. I'm gonna have to sell a lot of Valiants to fix this thing, aren't I? Oh, which reminds me. The ink hadn't even dried on the bill of sale for the Charger before someone asked me, hey, I thought you were getting rid of cars. Well, yeah, to buy more Chargers. It's the Dead Dodge Garage sale all over again. Ah, seriously though, at least a couple more of these need to go. Yeah, so, question. Drag car or street machine? It's got the stickers and the air shocks and the slapper bars. No shackles, that's weird. Oh yeah, I don't know about you, but I'm pretty excited to put more stickers here. That's gonna be great. So anyway, what the heck am I gonna do with this thing? Well, I have a couple ideas. My nice charger, definitely not like a dirt road or field destroyer. This thing sure could be. I have no interest at all in putting the 68 on a drag strip. This thing, on the other hand, well, it's an original 318 car. And as you can see, it was already messed up many, many moons ago. Although honestly, if I wanted to put a small block back in here, wouldn't be very hard. Manifolds and pipes are still in place. All the wiring, which I'm sure is, yeah, fine. They flat blocked the engine compartment because why wouldn't they? But you can see some delightful B5 blue peeking through in many places. I think this is the original hood. And there's blue here. Yeah, I mean, it's a rusty pile, but it's straight. Well, mostly straight. And it hasn't been screwed up yet. There's this deal over here, but I'm pretty sure that would just kick out. You're probably gonna wanna know what I paid for this thing. Well, it was a lot. Roughly two Valiants. Speaking of which, my thanks again to Ryan down there at McLovin Garage. If not for him buying the Valiant, I could not have done this, so. Couldn't have worked out better. Hey, and also, he put out his video on dragging that thing home today. If you haven't seen it yet, go check it out and subscribe to his channel. So I've been thinking long and hard about what I'm going to put under the hood of the 69 Charger. I've got this Slant 6, you know, coming out of Dylan's Dart Sport, so that's an option. Or I do have the Faux Commando 273. That'd be great. What, 160 horsepower? Something like that. Well, there's this. All new, freshly machined, really nice 360 that I've got going together. Started a video on that a long time ago. Remind me to do something with this. Well, if none of that sounds good, I guess there's always this. A 
Psycho race built 440 with fully worked 452 heads and a solid Mopar performance cam and lifter setup with like 528 lift and some ungodly amount of duration. Double roller chain, six pack baffled oil pan, all of, you know, this stuff. All right, I'll level with you. I put the cart before the horse and acquired this spanking 440 long before I had any idea what I was going to put it in. Well, it could have gone in a PT Cruiser gasser. More on that later. I've got headers. They're down there somewhere. I've got 430 gears with a sure grip of course. I've got a giant aluminum radiator. I've got options for wheels and tires. Yes, turns out I have just about everything I need to make an awesome 69 charger right here in the pile. What I don't have is any time to start on it right now because it's 5.55 p.m. on a Sunday and I've got to go do a live stream. So we'll revisit this project later. For now, I'm just going to enjoy the fact that it's here. Oh, I got snowed on. How are you feeling about my chances? Does it look better or worse today? Well, not better. You know, I could probably sit here and stare at this car all day. But the unfortunate fact of the matter is I really don't have time to start on it yet. It's probably going to be a while. I've got enough jobs here right now to keep me busy for like a week or ten, so... Yeah, I need to get back to that. <laughs> Don't pick at the scab. I think I need to make Honk If Parts Fall Off Dead Dodge Garage stickers. And then we'll just like make all these panels out of them and that'll be perfect. I suspect we'll start with cleaning. Hmm. So uh, some carpet in here. It's horrible. It's all here. Maybe I just zip tie it back together. I didn't even notice there's actually an ignition key. There's no trunk key though. Ooh! Oh, I'm finding treasure. Here's the uh, uh, armrest plastic. And the door panel's actually here, but I think it's bent. Hey, uh, why can I see the trailer? Well, it didn't take me too long to regret this purchase. All right. Yeah. What do you think of my genius plan for this car? Dirt road destroyer? possible drag strip action in the future. Although they might not be super big on parts of it falling off. I already know everybody wants to see a 440 under the hood, so we'll be doing that. Do we leave the drum brakes? Do we do like suspension stuff? I don't know. It's always a good sign when there's Bondo over rust. It's clearly decades old. Does it need to stay horrible primer? I mean, it's pretty cool, but I've always wanted a flat black one with a white bumblebee stripe, of course. Someday, original B5 blue, that would be cool. That day is a long way from now. Like a really, really long way. Oh, I shouldn't have looked. And I definitely shouldn't have poked. Oh, I just noticed this. Bouncing hard on the trip home, it uh, hit the winch and caved in the tank. I mean, let's be honest with ourselves. The tank's garbage anyway. All right, time to stop touching things. Oh good, it snowed again. I've made an executive decision. Need to get this thing off the trailer and into the shop. This is getting worse. Nice. And then, I don't know. I guess we'll clean out the interior and like see what we've really got here. Aw, poor little guy. Now, many of you have noticed this horrible project in the background of many shots over the last few months. I don't want to talk about it. But it is finally to a point that I can move it off the lift, so the charger will have somewhere to live, and that's great. Whoa. Okay. Someone is confused. Weatherman! Now oh, there's a spider web on my nose. I don't like it. Carefuling. Oh, don't look under there. <sighs> Every time. Yay. Are you excited? I'm excited. Not so excited about my truck sounding like garbage, but that's another story, I guess. 
I don't know how I do this totally blind, but I do all the time. I've never hit anything yet. At least nothing important. It's a bummer Remington doesn't make tires anymore. They're solid units. That one's gonna try and kill me, so I'm gonna duck. Stay. Okay, let's do this fast. All right, now I have to jackknife that trailer in front of that middle bay door, and I seem to recall it doesn't really work. If you're sitting at home right now, watching your TV, drinking a frosty cold beverage and thinking, ah, oh, piece of cake. I promise you, it's not. There's a slew in the way. Absolute razor precision. I could do this 37 more times and get it straighter, but I'm bored. I changed my mind. I can do better. Much better. Now it's actually like almost all the way back over the lift too, so this might just work. Important with disasters playing in my head. Strangest thing. Here's my genius plan. The four post lift crossbar is an anchor point. I've got the winch from the trailer run double back to the K-frame, so hopefully I can get it all the way off in one pull. Of course, this poor winch has been letting the smoke out for a while. In fact, it barely dragged this thing up on the trailer and kept stopping. Once the guy unhooked his winch from his trailer, it did go a little better. Anyway, oh, why did I pull the car so far on? Come on. Um, sometime today. This is really hard to do blind. Yeah. Oh, there we go. You're just dragging the trailer for a second there. You know, the good news is the brakes are locked solid, so it's perfectly safe. Ah, we gotta just start ripping the band-aid off now. Oh, oh, it, it, yeah, okay. I almost can't believe it, but look how nicely the window rolls. That's amazing. I only just noticed the tiny steering wheel. That's awesome. Advance! Hey, tell me if it starts sliding off, would you? Smelling bad electrical smells. Uh, should I be concerned about that? I gotta be honest, this is going better than expected. Almost there. Unfortunately, the rear end is too far over to the driver and I'm kind of afraid it's gonna end up in the hole. So now I'm gonna have to get creative and try and drag it over. Dumb could it be? Oh, this is fine. Come on. Give me another click. I got the winch remote. Woo! That, I believe, is how you do that. Alright, hold on to your butts. Yeah. Okay, maybe a little more. Leash. Gotta re rig that and get it like, I don't know, a foot farther, I guess. Well, it sure looks on there to me. I know I've been saying this winch is near death for a while now, but yeah, not doing too hot here. Or down here. Really, I think it just needs to be shot. Use the force, Harry. Gandalf. Don't hit the pole. Well, that was something. All right, now that we're here, oh, let's take a look at what we really have. We've got rust, like bad rust in places. I think someone like sanded that, stripped it down 30 years ago or something. I think some of this is extra. I really like this driver's side door latch. That's a solid unit there. Uh, okay, the first thing that needs to happen is like a cleaning. And these seats need to go. Although I don't have anything to put back in it yet. All in good time, Reginald. Ugh. 
Uh, hopefully this sticker survive. Yeah. Oh man. Why did I buy this? Maybe I can just chip all of this off and it'll be blue again. I'm assuming this was an original vinyl top car. Kind of had to be, you know. I have discovered the issue with the door latch. That's fixable. What is this? Oh, it was a seat cover. It's always a good sign when the door jam was full of Bondo decades ago. Huh. There's blue over it. Why? That's the factory seam right there. You'd think I'd have learned by now to not pick at the scabs, but I can't help myself. I'm sorry, I don't understand this. I don't know, maybe there are holes down at the bottom. <laughs> All right, <laughs> add cowl to the list. Oh no. <sighs> it uh, was packed full of stuff for some reason. Like body filler. Good Lord. What am I even looking into right now? Well, there's no gas pedal, but it did come with a free fork. There are all kinds of treasures in here. Hmm. Oh yeah, I have no idea what these seats are out of, but I can tell you they're flipped side for side because the release for the back is all the way over there. Well, it could be worse. All right. It's worse. Oh, the smells. This isn't good. This is just stupid. I can almost guarantee this door panel was fine before they ripped it off. I really need to do a dump run. You never know when you're gonna need some rope. But, listen to that. Wow. Yeah, this is definitely the good side, other than all the rot. Okay, what is a muscle car? That. Things are starting to make sense. This thing must have cracked around the latch. They welded in a plate, but it's on top of the original panel. So it must have battered that thing into submission and cracked the door. I can fix it, yeah, probably with a hammer. Meanwhile, I got the vacuum out and I'm working on things in here. Not going well. Next is probably pulling these horrible seats. I did find an extra hole. And it was put there with a torch, so that's really interesting. All right, I'm curious, so I got a trunk key. Oh, come on. That's gotta be in there somewhere. Really? I don't usually have this problem. Oop. Hmm. Oh, good Lord. Why did I think this car still had a trunk for? You know what? I bet. <laughs> I bet I could ventilate the gas tank really easily. Mm, well, yeah, probably. Oh, it's so much worse than I thought it was. I thought it was bad, you know, but it's worse. That's great. All right, I gotta quit it with the shop vac before there's no car left. It's kind of obvious by the air shocks and slapper bars, but this thing was definitely like a 70s, 80s street machine. And it must have had cool wheels on it. Here's some evidence. I was admiring this earlier. That's just lovely. And I just noticed this. I think all the studs are going to be ruined and everything's going to go really badly here. I'm not mad. I'm just disappointed. Hey, wait a second. That's a TikTok tack. What's that doing there? Oh, it only leaks a little bit inside. All right, I guess that's as far as we're getting for now. Yeah, look on the bright side. It's got wheel tubs and they're still blue. Really? Okay, well, that's where we're at, I guess. It's time to go eat pizza and order subframe connectors, I think. I want to leave you with a story because it has occurred to me that, well, number one, chargers are so hot right now. And number two, ratty chargers. It's like this whole movement thing. I bought this rusty pile of loosely assembled charger parts for a couple reasons. First, well, I would have been an idiot not to. I mean, when a charger comes along and 
You can afford it? Oh my God, buy it. Like many viewers and commenters I've heard from over the last couple years, I always wanted one of these things, and I wasn't sure I'd ever be able to get one. So I figured a ratty one would be the only way. Way back when I was a teenager, I saw a flat black one with a white bumblebee stripe on Craigslist for like, I don't even remember, $5,000? Whatever it was, it was really exciting, and I emailed the guy, but surprise, surprise, it was already gone. It was the same story with every other charger that came available for years. Either they were gone before I could even email the seller, or I didn't have the money. Almost two years ago now, I tried to buy a ratty charger in the same way. I figured, hey, I can piece it together, make it my own, do fun stuff. I don't care if there are rust holes through the quarters. I wanna do burnouts and drift in fields and stuff. So I made a deal with the seller. I had his address. I had his phone number. I had money in my pocket. I had a trailer hooked up to my second gen. I was ready to go the next day. He told me to be there at 5 p.m. I would have been there at 6 a.m. if he wanted. And then the guy's phone caught on fire and another dingus who lived closer to him offered thousands more than I was gonna pay. Thousands more than the asking price, which I was totally fine with. What a weird time to be alive. At that point, I was pretty angry. Apparently, I wasn't able to have my dream car. I decided to sell everything I owned and either buy a good charger or, uh, you know, take up woodworking. And that's how I ended up with this thing. My actual dream. Well, it's supposed to have a black top and interior, but that's fine. My woodworking career will have to wait. Now I have drifted this car in a field, incidentally, but it's really too nice for that. It's not a race car. It's not an off-roader. It's not a party. This is a nice cruiser, and I would be a moron to ruin it. I would be a moron to take out this original 383, which runs awesome. So that's why I got this thing. To do all the stuff I can't with the 68. To have fun. To enjoy a ratty charger. And that's what I'm gonna do. So that's my vision for this car. A party. If you have other ideas for what I should do with this thing, feel free to leave them in the comments. I can't say I'll take your advice, but you know, it's a nice idea. Okay, seriously, it's pizza time, I gotta go. <laughs> Hey, the good news is it looks even worse from under here. Oh, but it looks amazing from here. You know, if you squint. Anyway, I look forward to your complaints. Until then, as usual, thank you very much for watching. And remember, if you're cold, they're cold. Bring them inside. Seriously, just stop looking. Just stop.